Okay, it's over. The two week figure sculpture competition has concluded. Now it's time to judge your sculptures. There was 114 contestants, which is awesome. I'm really excited for the first competition, online competition that I've done. I thought that that was a, a great number. There was a bunch of people that reached out and joined uh, the email list and everything. And so if you're on that, I'll let you guys know when future competitions are gonna be going. But I thought that this was a big success. So I'm really grateful. So I wanted to give you guys a little bit of a look behind the scenes, kind of my method for judging this competition. It might be different in the future, but that's something that I always kind of wondered. It would be kind of nice to be in the room. I've done some in-person competitions. So I started off just looking through all of the images. So I would uh, bring up every single image that you guys submitted for your sculptures and then look at it on the screen. It was just kind of a preliminary thing just to see all of the submissions. Then what I did is for the first round of judging, I would just be looking at the thumbnails really small on the screen and I'm only focusing on a few things. If your sculpture doesn't look good when it's really small, then it's not gonna look good when you, when you blow it up really big. So I wanted to make sure that things were working, things like the silhouette or the outline, things like documentation, if the lighting was good and there wasn't any distractions in the background, that's something that I mentioned, and the proportions. Those are things that are all pretty easy to see even as a small thumbnail. And I would just pick and take a screenshot of ones that I felt like, okay, on a small scale, this looks like the, the sculptor was paying attention to the things that I talked about and has been implementing the principles that we went over in the sculpture course. And that's really what I wanted to see because this is you know a celebration of the completion of all of the lessons for the course. I wanna make sure you guys are implementing those things. That's the whole point of the competition. I took those that I felt like were exemplifying that and took screenshots of those and that got me to about 20 people. For the next level of elimination, I was focusing more on the gesture or the flow of the sculpture. It's an easy and a common mistake for beginners to make where the sculpture is a little bit too stiff and rigid. The flow of the figure or the lifelike essence of the figure is just not quite there. And I'd mentioned before that if you err, err on the side of pushing the gesture a little bit further than what you're observing in the reference. So on this second round of paying more attention to the gesture, that got me to the top 10 sculptors. And then at this stage, once I had the top 10, now it's time to actually go through those and then choose the number one, two, three spots and also the honorable mentions. And now is the time where I would look at the details, the surface texture, the face, the hands and the feet, and the anatomy, and make sure that the whole sculpture was working and that it, it felt really good. Hopefully that gives you an idea of how I broke down the judging process. I've been in sculpting competitions and there's been times where I felt like, you know, I really thought my sculpture was good enough to be the number one or, the num or in the top five and I wasn't in the top five. So don't be discouraged if you thought yours was good enough to be in these. Um, it's a difficult thing to judge it, so hopefully you'll be patient with me, but these are just the ones that stood out to me. So let's go ahead and dive in, and we'll start with the honorable mentions, and then we will go to the third place, the second place, and then finally the winner of this competition. So I'm gonna be using the name that's on your Proco account. If that's not your actual name, I apologize, but that's just uh, what I'm going over. And then I'll reach out to you guys. I'll reach out to the winners of the competition as well as the top 10 to give you further instruction on getting those rewards. The first honorable mention, we have Tarkus Bruford. And this one I just thought was interesting because uh, even though it's a, a little bit more rough when it comes to the texture and, it, and you can kind of see where he's laid in pieces of clay, I felt like it worked and the piece was cohesive. I feel like the whole sculpture was dealt in a similar way. And so the fact that it was a little bit more rough and that you could see a little bit more of, for example, the separation between the anatomy in the, the torso, I was okay with that. I thought that this was a really neat sculpture, so that's the first honorable mention. The second honorable mention, Alan Harrelson, congratulations. This one, I 
I liked that they took the initiative to change it up a little bit. They added a loincloth to the figure and then also a skull in the hand. And who doesn't like a skull when it comes to art? And so I just thought it was an interesting way to play on the pose and really creative. So that is the second honorable mention. For third place and the $100 cash prize winner, we have Chad Shelton. I really liked what was happening in the sculpture. I felt like the silhouette worked from a lot of different angles and the documentation looked clean. I just felt like it was a well done sculpture. The second place winner, the $150 winner, Christian Borzi. Christian Borzi. And this one, it felt very accurate, knew what they were doing. Gonna be any critique, it might have been with the documentation, but I felt like overall as a sculpture, it felt well done, well proportioned, and the details really were working with this sculpture. All right, drum roll. For the number one spot and the winner of this first online sculpture competition, we have Jose A, the name that he has on his account. And this one, I just really liked it. I liked the details of, this was the male figure. He did the sculpture of Ben. And I felt like the documentation turnarounds felt good. The gesture felt good. But there is one detail shot of the torso that I just, I just thought was really impressive. The documentation looked really clean. And so I was like, you know what? That is deserving of the number one spot. Thank you guys for participating. Those that did, if you'd like to participate in the next one, be sure to get on my email list. You can message me on Instagram at Andrew Joseph Keith, and there will also be a link down below if you'd like to join that email list. I'd like to do more of these because this competition was really fun. A lot of people let me know that it was uh, motivating, that it helped them actually get out and do more sculpting, which is something that when you're taking an online course can be a little bit difficult to find that motivation. So I'd like to do more of these. Remember that everybody that participated will get the digital prize that Pose Space has provided which is two free poses and you can get those at posespace.com and I'll message the people that submitted their work with the instructions on exactly how to get those pose packs over at posespace.com. Especially thank you to our sponsors, uh, Proco.com, the DaVinci Eye app, posespace.com, and Blick Art Materials. We're really appreciative of them. As always, I hope that you guys will stay creative, stay productive, and I'll see you in the next video.